And uh, this is one thing that makes the difference. And uh, all the disciples and all the people that I see commenting everywhere here and there, they are talking about the same thing. They were powered to live. Now, were they exactly told when you have finished? I'm, I'm addressing the people in the comments now. I'm not addressing a particular issue that is happening. I'm addressing a particular, uh, some particular comments in the comment section. And I know some of them are people who don't even know what is ministry. And so I just want to address it because of other people who would also want to know these comments existed there. I read all these, these comments. I read all the comments. Now, if a man is ordained and uh, powered on the altar, it does not mean they have been released to go. I also know the issue in the book of Genesis, uh, chapter, 11, uh, chapter 11, the Tower of Babel, where people gathered in one place and God came in to scatter people to move all over. They were, that's one other case that people are trying to bring in as a scripture. That's a scapegoat scripture uh, they are using for now. And also in the book of Acts where persecution started. But if I see what is going on, what was going on, and what took up after the persecution people are talking about in Skoan is not really persecution. It's real rebellion, rebellion happening between people who are selfishly competing with their mentor. But then we had agreed in this factor that we will embrace everybody and in their own interests and in their own culture of need. And let's thank God that what they are doing is far, far fetched. That God will intervene in their situation. We will pray for everybody. May God increase you. May God bless you. May God take you into another height. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.